The best ever! Today's theme song. Cons launch to me is this time where you, you hit these like marks and it's just like discovering iron or you know getting horses or something like it's it's the ushering in of a new era. The best console launch for me is definitely the PlayStation 2. When I was 11 or 12 and had to go to Walmart because it's first come first serve. Back then pre-orders weren't big. I mean, I was still buying used games at Funko Land. It was old school. We kept calling about every 30 minutes like the day before the PS2 was supposed to launch. And then about 20 hours before it was actually gonna go on sale, people started to get in line. So we get there, we rush there. We're the third people in line, my brother and I. We just had to sit there for 20 hours. Being 12 and sitting in line for 20 hours is really brutal. Because even today, if I go to the bank, there's like a 10 minute line, I'm like, oh, screw it, I'll get money later, you know? Like, I'll deposit this check next week, I don't care that much. I can't do lines, but as a kid, 20 hours is even worse than you think. It's pretty much like what hell would be like if nothing was happening. Once the line, I think it was a max of 15, filled up, people obviously started to try and buy people's spots, and they tried to start sneaking into our spots, because we were the weak link being children. Everybody else was adults buying it for the kids. If we got up to get the bathroom, you know, we'd, they'd steal our spot and stuff, and like they were super vicious. One guy tried to trick my brother and I, telling us that our mom was outside and we needed to go meet her. And we were like, nuh uh. And then luckily he did not expect my brother to have a cell phone. And my brother was like, beep, beep, beep. Are you out front, mom? She was like, no. And we were just like, you oh, bastard. People then started offering us. I remember my brother and I got offered like a $500 for our spot. We were really young and just wanted a PlayStation, so we were like, screw your $500, sir, I'm getting a PlayStation tonight. And then at one point, the people, the Walmart people brought us donuts, that was really nice too. At the end of the night, we got our PS2, and we went home, and we played some Time Splitters, and it was awesome. Just seeing the new style of graphics and what they could do with all this new technology, it just rung home. Like, that was one of the moments where it was like, I want to keep playing games forever, because every time it happened, it was such an exciting thing just to see what was possible now. In my opinion, the best console launch has to be the worst console launch, and that's the launch of the PS3. I think it's the best because it is so bad. It's the most memorable to me. It's the one that sticks out in my mind the most. You know, when you look at the ad campaign and the push of the PS3 leading up to launch, it is a tragedy. Sony spent months trying to convince me that I was buying a computer, not a home console, and Sony had these grand ideas that the cell was going to revolutionize everything. The cell processor is going to be so powerful, it's going to be able to work in tandem with your refrigerator cell processor and your blender cell processor and all these other things that were supposed to have cell processors that just don't. And they would all use their computing power to make your PS3 the most powerful computer in your house. The PR department must have just taken a six month vacation leading up to the release because you had executives making the most outrageous claims. Oh yeah, PS3s are sold out everywhere. If you could find one on a shelf right now, I'd pay you $1,200. And then Penny Arcade goes out the next day and finds six of them. I don't really laugh about any console launches, so the fact that I laugh about this console launch is the reason why I think it's the best. <laughs> The best launch I ever was a part of was actually the, for the PlayStation 3, and it wasn't even because I wanted it. It was for the PS3 launch line for charity that we did here on Screw Attack long time ago, 2006, for the launch of the PlayStation 3. I stood in line for five days uh, with the idea of I was going to auction off my spot in line with the games and the consoles that I bought, and then all the money that we raised was going to go to charity. See that over there? That is going to be my spot for one week. Throughout that, we were working with a, a website called Game Videos, which was part of 1UP at the time. So I was doing like video blogs every day. And Child's Play Charity, obviously, they received a nice little check. And I think we sold it for like $2,500, $2,600, something like that. So it was really, really cool. It was a cool experience. But the thing that made it really memorable was the amount of people that started showing up. So the first day I go out there, I'm like, OK, day number one. I got five days to go. One person saw me out there like, what are you doing? I was like, waiting in line for the PlayStation 3. And then someone's like, well, I better start waiting in line for the PlayStation 3. And then it kind of dominoed. And then so like with three days to go, there's like a full line of like around the building of people waiting for the PS3. And we're the only store in like the Metroplex, this Best Buy, that has like a line in front of it. It's all the way wrapped around the building because pe people started panicking. They're like, I'm not going to get a PlayStation 3. It was awesome. So I caused immense panic. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> there's all these different people, all these different like, it's a very diverse crowd. But I felt that it was really neat because 
We all had one thing in common, and we formed a bond. And at the end of the day, when the PlayStation 3 launched, we actually accomplished that goal together of getting a PlayStation 3. The story is kind of bittersweet because uh, at the time, we were not working with game trailers yet, and they were kind of courting us. They're like, "Hey, why don't you come out to LA, and we'll uh, we're gonna have this end of the year party, and we're going to be having a good time, and we'll talk about possibly working together then." Cool. When is it? Well, it fell in right during the launch line for charity, so I was like, "Hmm." I had already committed to waiting in line for five days. It was something I was gonna do. All right. So I'm like, "Hey, Tom, you want to go out to LA and, and talk to game trailers and uh, see if we'll work with them?" He's like, cool, well, wh where's it going? What's happening? So I was like, hey, where's the party gonna be? And they respond with, the Playboy Mansion? What? It was horrible, it was so bad. But I did it all for the kids.